I love yogis. So let's just jump right into this 20 minute flow. Get into child's pose. Exhale all of your air out and begin deep intentional inhales. If you need a couple of cycles of breath where you sigh out, please take that. And we will meet in an ujjayi breath to help invigorate you for this practice. So with only 20 minutes, we're gonna do a lot of moving to get as many parts of you stretched as possible. Pressing up onto all fours, begin with three cow cat. Letting your ujjayi breath guide your movement. So we're beginning with a subtle flexion of the spine. And then tuck your toes, lift your tailbone, downward facing dog. Managing here if you need to pedal out or paw out your hands. Inhale, raise your right leg, keeping your hips flat and square, lift an inch higher, and then release. Other side, left leg up, stabilize in your hands and then see if you can push through your hands to lift your heel higher, and release. Inhale, right leg up, bend your knees, stack your hips here, side body stretch, rotation happening from the rib cage, Passing through your three-legged dog, come down. Inhale, left leg up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Flexing your foot or pointing, right? Just as long as you're intentionally deciding what you're doing. Coming through three-legged dog, back down. Step your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Pausing here, lower belly in, spine flat. Exhale, fold forward. Taking any variation of ragdoll that you prefer. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here. Breathing, being. Inhale, rise up. Grab your right wrist with your left hand and lean to the side. Back to the center, other side. Coming back to the center, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades, lift your heart, throat exposed. Passing through neutral, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands on the floor, jump back, go for it. Lower your belly all the way to the ground. Take your hands about six inches to the outside of your shoulders. Inhale, lift your torso up. And then exhale, you'll tilt your right shoulder down, looking over your left shoulder. So you're getting an opening across the front of your right shoulder. Inhale to center, exhale left side. So you'll press the left shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Get frisky with it, flip your dog, go for it. It's only a 20 minute practice, you might as well see what's possible. We're moving a little bit slow here, three or four breaths per pose to give you a chance. Flip back over, down dog, to move in a healthy way. Left leg up. Bend your knees, stack your hips. You're gonna stay here for another breath. And then intentionally flipping your dog. Right, it's early in the practice, you're probably very cold right now. So we're just inviting an opening. We're not forcing anything. Downward facing dog. 
inhale, right leg up. Step through, warrior one. Take the time from the base of your feet up to your hips and finally your shoulders to set up your pose for success. Open to warrior two. Hinging forward into half moon. A block under your hand can be helpful here, but it's not required. Tilt your hips, warrior three, or airplane pose. Being wobbly is super okay. Land in crescent lunge, so your left leg is back, and you're balancing on the toes. Stay for another breath, and then vinyasa. So you'll just take your high and low push-up, up dog or cobra, and come to your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, step it through, warrior one. Intentional ujjayi. Open to warrior two, set your drishti, your eyes, your gaze over your front middle finger. Keep that focus as you fly into half moon. Flex the toes of your flying foot. Airplane pose. Land crescent lunge. Take your flow to downward facing dog or skip it all together, right? Big inhale, full exhale. It's a lot of moving we've done. Inhale, right leg up, step through. Warrior one, open warrior two. Change it up this time, reverse your warrior. So you're gonna reach overhead and then coming into your half moon. Just adding on one little thing. Airplane pose. Land in your crescent. Watch me fall, my airplane almost crashed. Easy twist, left hand down, right hand up. Step back into your down dog. Sigh out that right side and then inhale your left leg up to step through for warrior one. Open to warrior two, keep your fire breath, reverse your warrior, open your side body here. Half moon. Airplane pose. Crescent lunge. Easy twist. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sigh out, and then zip back up, ujjayi right leg up, step through, warrior one. Open warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Half moon. Airplane pose. Crescent lunge. Easy twist. And then take a variation here. Twist both feet to the blade edge. And then if you'd like, you can take your top arm and extend it long. So it's like reaching towards your toes. 
passing through your easy twist back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, step through, warrior one. Aren't you glad this is only 20 minutes? We are moving. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Half moon. Airplane pose. Crescent lunge. Easy twist. Take the variation spiraling onto the blade edges of your feet. Once you feel secure, reach long ways towards your foot. Pass through your uh, lunge here, back to your down dog. Inhale, look at your hands. Exhale, feet to hands. Halfway lift, gorilla pose. So tuck the palm of your hand under your foot, toes to wrist, even if you have to generously bend the knee. And then press the weight of your body more into your toes than your heels. Allowing your spine to cascade over your thighs. Untuck your hands, step your feet out wide, drop your hips, malasana, yogi squat. Staying for just a moment. We're getting all the stretches in a tiny bit of time. Drive through your heels, halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Doing the same stretch from earlier, grab your wrist, tilt to one side. Back to center, other side. Back to center, reset your feet at 12 o'clock, inhale, right leg up. You can straighten the leg or not. Take a twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, back to center. And release, shake it out. Other side, left leg up. Taking your twist. Back to center. And release. So we're gonna take some drop back practice here. I want you to track your elbows up and over and just bend back as if you were going to drop back into wheel pose. So your hands are coming over your head as if you were on the floor pushing up, elbows towards the center, take three of them, and then exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, plant your hands, jump back, high plank. Just hang out here. Uriana Banda, strong core. You've got it. Couple more breaths. Slowly lower down. Even slower. Okay, fine, that was good. All right, drop your belly onto the ground. Bring your arms by your side like airplane arms. Lift just your torso. Keep your hands and everything else on the ground. And then release. We'll do that again this time. Lift your hands and your torso. Rise up, upper body only. And release. Third time's the charm, this time lifting your legs, your arms, and your torso. Inhale, rise up. Stay for three breaths, deep and full. You'll feel your belly pressing onto the floor. And then release. When you're ready, press back to child's pose. Become aware of this child's pose and how it differs from the one at the beginning of practice. When you're ready, rise up and just flip onto your back. Knees bent, arms by your side, bridge pose. 
inhale and then you exhale and press up, right? So it's not so stressful, I don't know the right word. Walk your shoulders underneath you. If you're capable of clasping your hands under your back, rock that out. If not, don't. Lower down. Keep your knees bent. Take your left ankle to your right knee in a figure four. Pause here. Without using your hands, let the strength of your body lift your knee towards your chest. And then pause here. So equal parts strength and flexibility, right? Stirasuka. And then twist your figure four to the right. So the goal is to have balance or equanimity. We want to be as strong as we are flexible. Come back to the center. Release. Other side, right ankle to left knee. Pause again, letting your back settle. Lift up your foot using your muscles, no hands required. Upper body is totally chilling out here. And then twist to the left side. You can take the arms to, the, to a T. You can look any direction that you please. We're not staying here a long time. Come back to center. Replant your feet. We're gonna take cat cow, but only with the lower back and pelvis moving. So it's really kind of like an internal crunch. So keeping your hips on the ground, you'll pull the lower belly in, flatten your back. And you'll stay there for a couple breaths. And then you'll tilt your pelvis the other way, creating an arch in your low back. Let your breath guide you. You choose how fast or slow you want to do these. They're really great for building like the lower muscles, right? The internal um, kind of further back inside muscles. Not the pretty fancy bougie ones on top that other people show off and I hide. You've got time for one more round and we'll meet in happy baby. Really intentionally focus on pressing your tailbone down. If you lifted the crown of your head off the earth, please also drop that. If you'd like to rock side to side, do so. Coming to Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And breathe in joy. that even in your stressful, busy day, you found 20 minutes to honor yourself. As you're ready, extend out. Savasana. Allow anything that happened before this moment to die. It is no longer yours. Bring activity back into your body by raising your arms overhead and coming to a fetal position. Take a big sigh here, releasing your practice. As you're ready, make your way up to seated, eyes closed if you can, and take a couple of neck rolls, starting with your chin at center, Dropping ear to one shoulder, rolling through the center, ear to the other shoulder. And again. So in a quick 20 minutes, we've had some spinal flexion and rotation. We've done some hip work, some low back work, got a little bit into the shoulders and now the neck. Coming back to center. 
Inhale your arms up overhead. Bring your palms together at heart center. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Namaste. As always, the biggest compliment you can give is sharing my channel.